Welcome to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast with your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Badass Direct Sales Mastery is a podcast for rock star direct sales moms who are determined to make their business kick ass. Jenny will share her knowledge of effective sales and recruiting techniques, tips to get what you want from your business, and will interview direct sales professionals and leaders from various companies. The interviews will give insight to how these rock stars got to where they are and where they plan to grow in the future. And now, the direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Welcome back to another episode of the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast. Yes, it's me, your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger, and I am here with a fun new guest who I literally just met right before the interview. We've been talking back and forth on LinkedIn, and I want to share Sherry Pearson with you. The first thing that Sherry wants anybody to know about her is that she loves the Lord and attempts to live her life in accordance with his purposes. She's married to her very best friend and together they have six children, 11 grandchildren and three great grandchildren, a dog and a cat. Now that she also has time, freedom, and energy, she enjoys traveling, helping others, hiking, dancing, live music, Someday we'll get back to that. <laughs> Reading, yeah. learning, Zumba, yoga, Pilates, and meeting new people. I'd like to welcome Sherry Pearson to the show. Welcome. Hello. Yay. Thank you for inviting me, Jeannie. You are more than welcome. We're so glad to have you here, Sherry. So let's get started by telling everybody you're a two star executive with Isagenics. Now, First of all, what does that mean for anybody who's not in the world of isogenics? Well, isogenics is interesting. Our ranks have a lot to do with how much money we have made in isogenics. So a two-star would have made at least 20 cycles. And in our world, a cycle is $54.11 times 20 is over a thousand dollars in a week. Nice. That's really good. The reason that this is a big deal is because if people don't know network marketing statistics, the average that a consultant makes in the course of a year is a thousand dollars. Now, keep in mind, that's an average. And what Sherry is saying that is that she and her husband, Steve, in the course of a week, have made a thousand dollars with their business. And I'm I'm assuming you're getting paid weekly. Yes. As a matter of fact, I was looking at this recently. And in three and a half years, the first time I got paid, I've never missed a Monday paycheck in three and a half years. It hasn't always been a thousand dollars, but I have never missed a paycheck in three and a half years on a Monday. That is impressive. I do have to say, because I, you know. Even in my seven years, there were there were one or two times in seven years that I might have not gotten paid <laughs> from the company that I was with. So so that's that's a pretty big deal because again, that just means that you're working in your business and, and working on your business on a weekly basis. Absolutely. I, and I think that's an important thing. So so tell us, how did you get into what was your journey into isogenics like? Well, we started, uh, my husband and I, in May of 2017 because we were overweight and we wanted to lose weight. Now, Isogenics has solutions for a lot of health things, and one of them is weight. And I had watched a friend of mine kind of live out loud on social media, and she had lost at that point about 55 pounds. And after I actually was done with the whole trying to lose weight thing, because over the years I would lose it, gain it, plus some, lose it, gain it, plus some. So I decided dieting just got me fatter. So I didn't want to do that anymore. And then my husband, he retired and he had had a very active job and he had put on quite a bit of weight, about 70 pounds. And mm. he was very unhappy. So we decided that was about it for research. We need to do something. Let's do this. And so he and my son and I, we all signed up together. 
And so that's why we started. We lost 120 pounds between the two of us. And we've been able to keep it off, which is amazing to me because I can never do it before. And then we got so healthy and felt so good and had so much energy. We could not share it with other people. Very good. And so you obviously did not start with the business in mind. It sounds like it sounds like you started for your own personal health journey and through the process realized that this was going to be something that you could share with others and in the process as a reward for sharing with others, make some money. Exactly. But it really didn't take me very long because, you know, I have had sales experience in the back backgrounds. So it was kind of in the back of my mind. But what I I didn't realize that to become a consultant with Isogenics, it just takes you and two people. And so I actually became a consultant the day I signed up because it was me, my husband, and my son. So they're the top of my organization, and it's worked out really well for us. Oh, wow. Well, that's pretty cool. And since then, have you continued to grow your organization then? Oh, yes. Yes, definitely. Um, Helped a lot of people get started for health. And then, you know, a lot of people have come in for the compensation plan because it's pretty incredible. So we have helped a lot of people grow their businesses as well. The way they grow a business now in Isogenics, we have over 1,300 people on our team. Wow. Under you? Under me. And then, you know, the way our compensation plan works, the people above me, Mm -hmm. when they add people, they'll go under me. So they get counted in with my people as well. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So in the course of running your business for three and a half years, You know, one thing I know after having done over a year's worth of episodes around uh, direct sales and network marketing is that we know that it is not always rainbows and roses (laughs) in this (laughs) business. We all encounter obstacles. What would you say is probably one of the biggest obstacles that you are most proud to have overcome in three and a half years of business? Well, It's been different. When I started doing this, I was actually working full time. And so I was just finding a way to do this in the pockets of my time, which I figured out was about five to seven hours a week. And doing that allowed me in my first year to make 70% of my full time income. Wow. And so you know, there a lot of people have a hard time finding pockets of their time. And my biggest uh, recommendation for that would be to do some time blocking. And then also just, you know, always have stuff with you that you can do your work, whether you're sitting in the carpool line, the doctor's waiting room, in between commercials, watching a little TV <laughs> or whatever it is. <laughs> But if you use those pockets wisely, you you can build a business, even though, you know, when a kid takes a nap or whatever, you feel like your day is so busy. But there's pockets of your time where you're really not doing anything but waiting and use those. I would definitely agree with that. I have one of the funniest things I've ever heard is one of the one of the people that I interviewed very early on in the podcast when I got started a little over a year ago. She said that she ended up starting her business. She had very young children when she started. And the only time she could work her business was when she was, quote unquote, going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> She would go to the bathroom and while she was, you know, going to the bathroom and sometimes just faking that she was going to the bathroom so that her kids would leave her alone for five or 10 minutes, she would work her business in the bathroom. You know, she'd send messages and send reply to emails and, and, and do a little bit of, of social media during that time, just so that, you know, her, her kids would leave her alone for a few minutes so she could do her business. Absolutely. So, so that's good to know. So really, you know, the obstacle you overcame was having, having a full-time position at the time when you get started, which I think is probably the case for most people as they get started in, in this type of business. And so, 
the fact that you were working five to seven hours per week. So that means you were putting in about an hour a day, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, just about. And the fact that in an hour a day, you were able to turn around and make 70% of what you were making in your full-time job in your first year is huge. I mean, that is absolutely huge because, you know, I can say, like I said, the the average consultant will make about $1,000 in their first year. Now, granted, it's an average. So they're averaging out the people who make zero money and the people who make seven and eight figures in a year. And somewhere in the middle, the number comes to $1,000 a year, right? For most people. So the fact that you're, you were able to then eventually, it sounds like replace your income with this business allowed you to retire. Cause I, during our pre-interview, you said you're now retired, correct? That's true. So yeah, in my second year, I matched my income. And then in my third year, I did retire. <gasps> that is awesome. Congratulations. How exciting is that? And you said your husband also retired during this time as well. Well, it was really nice because he had retired. Oh yeah. He's, he's six years older than me. So he was retired and I was still working, which is really a drag. So I still had a few years to go to actually retire. So to be able to do it early um, was really a gift. Oh, that is super awesome. So that's your first obstacle and you've overcome it because obviously now you've gotten to the point where you have replaced, Uh replaced your income. What would you say is an obstacle that you're, you're working through right now? Because one of, like I said, in our pre-interview, one of our listeners might have already overcome that obstacle and may have a suggestion for you. So what's something that you're going through right now? Well, I would say the one now is, um, you know, my husband and I work together as a team and he's awesome. And one of his gifts, we would do, we used to do a lot of vendor events and go out to, so that we could meet people because we live out in the boonies, you know, so mm-hmm. we would go to vendor events so we could get out and get face to face with people. And I would usually run the booth and he would go around and meet everybody. And he was so good at that. And people would come to our booth because they met him out, you know, as he was walking around talking to people. We also would love to, we travel and you would talk to people. People are not that anxious to talk to strangers right now. (laughs) Um, You know, it's true. Definitely not in person, you know, the mask thing kind of hinders that. And then people are worried about everybody, you know, so So that has been um, a struggle for us to convert, you know, so I do um, virtual networking uh, meetings and um, I do Zoom presentations of, you know, what I do and all that kind of thing. But that's been a struggle because we're real people to people, people. Mm -hmm. Sure. (laughs) You know, we like, we love people, which is one of the reasons this is the favorite network marketing thing I've ever done because it's such a gift to give to people to help them up level their health. And so I don't know, I think my passion comes across a lot better when I'm, you know, looking at them and they can really see, you know, that I, I care about them. I care about what I'm doing and I really believe in it. Absolutely. Well, you know, certainly uh listener, if, if this is something that you have, begun to overcome given what we're all going through right now because at the recording of this we're still in in the processes of covid as you can hear her talking about masking and everything so if you have suggestions for virtual networking and how to you know uh, up level virtual presentations and and you think you could help Sherry, please feel free to reach out. Her contact information is in the show notes, and I'm sure she would appreciate suggestions if you have any, if that's something that you have figured out to work for your business. So please feel free to reach out and share those with her. Now, Sherry, you know, in in creeping around on your LinkedIn page, of course, because that's how you and I met, I went back and looked to see what else. So, and you've also brought up the fact that you've done some other network marketing and direct sales companies previously. Knowing all the all the different um, experiences that you've had, as well as what you're what you're currently going through right now with your success with Isogenics, what would you say is your secret to success in direct sales? Well, I would say 
two things. One is absolutely believe in your product, love it, love your company, know, understand, and love your compensation plan. Know those things. That that would be number one. Know them and and really love them. And you know, offer something to people that that you really care about. I think that's number one. Mm-hmm. But number two is consistency. Oh. Consistency. People go, they try something and it doesn't work, and then they they don't, you know, do it anymore. I do things every single day that um, you know, may not bring me um any results today, you know, but it's creating a relationship with people. Um mm. and yeah, so I, I think that's it is consistency. Don't just give up on things. You can try different things, but be consistent. Let people know we're, especially now, we're open for business. If you're on social media, you need to consistently be on social media. If you're on LinkedIn or if you're on Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is that you're trying to tell people who you are and what you do, you need to do it consistently because you never know, especially in my field. People think about it a long time. I thought about it for five and a half months. I have people that reach out to me that I reached out to two and a half years ago, three years ago when I started this, and they finally say, I'm ready. Mm, Yeah. Because, you know, doing something about your health is a big decision for people and they need to trust you. They need to know you, trust you, and they need to know that you're going to be there for the long haul with them. You know, you, I have people who, want to lose over a hundred pounds. That's a long haul. They need to know I'm going to be there with them for that long haul. So I'm consistently out there. Let people know who I am all the time. I, I, I have to 100% back you up on that in, in being in the network marketing coaching world and direct sales coaching world. As long as I have the people who are successful in this business are consistent. They, they put something into the business in one way, shape or form every single day that they choose to work. So now you'll notice I'm not saying work seven days a week as a coach. I cannot right. in good conscience tell some tell somebody to work seven days a week. You're going to burn out if you do that. Right. But as a, as a coach, what I'm saying is, is every day that they choose to work. So if they're choosing to work their business five out of seven days, it doesn't have to be hours and hours and hours. You'll notice that Sherry said with her business, she was able to put in an hour per day for five to seven hours per week in her first year and was able to make 70% of her income. So that means she was on top of her full-time income, pulling in an additional 70% over the course of that first year. Imagine what that money could do for you and your family in your life if you were to do the same thing. And it was just an hour a day. Now, does that now, Sherry, I got to ask, were you working an hour at a time or did you maybe have it split up half an hour, half an hour, 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there? It's much more like, especially during the work days, I would be doing 15 minutes or half an hour or something. And that might be it on the work days because some of those five to seven hours might be me doing a vendor event on the weekend. Mm. Okay. Absolutely. And and I would I would certainly say there are options and opportunities, many of them, especially now that so many direct sales companies have websites and, and opportunities for people to build their business across the nation and even in many cases around the world uh, to network online, just like uh, Sherry is talking about. She's doing virtual networking. Obviously, that's how she and I met was through LinkedIn. Doing some virtual networking is a great way to begin to expand your network and understand that that what you do today may not have payouts today or tomorrow or even next week. But like Sherry said, sometimes it's going to be a month, two months, five months, 12 months, 24 months. She said there are some people who waited three years to reach out before they were ready to make a change. And so as long as you are somebody who who makes the commitment to your business to be in it for the long haul, because nobody goes out and starts a brick and mortar business saying, I only plan to be in business for a year. (laughs) 
<laughs> you know, the, can you imagine if a shoe store said, I'm only going to do this for a year? Like nobody would go buy shoes there. Right. So it's that it's that commitment to say that I'm going to do this for the long haul that I think it, it and that consistent, you know, that consistent thing of saying, hey, yes, I'm still in business. I, I agree, Sherry, you, you're you're hitting that nail right on the head. Yeah. <laughs> It, it makes perfect sense. So, well, Sherry, I want to thank you for sharing your your journey, your expertise, and and your 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 view on the secret to success with uh, with our listener today. Thank you so much. And I and you mentioned in our pre interview that you've got a little uh, a freebie for a few people. What are you looking to share with the first five people who contact you? Oh my goodness! Well, we have our whole blend shakes that come in both um, whey-based or plant-based and they're delicious and they're very different because they have on, and when you get your sample, you'll get some information about this, but we use the complete vitamin profile because we're taking the nutrients directly from the spinach, the kale, the strawberries, whatever it is that we're using, we're directly taking it. So you're not getting parts of vitamins, you're getting a complete vitamin profile and they are delicious and they're a complete meal. And I want to share with the first five people that send me an an email. I'll need your address and I'll need to know if you want whey or plant-based. That is so generous of you. Thank you so much, Sherry. So for those of you who are interested in taking her up on this offer, don't assume that just because you're listening to this in a couple of weeks after it's gone through that they've already been claimed. Send her a quick email and just see if she still has any of these samples available. And her email is in the show notes. So if you're listening on your phone, just make sure you grab your phone, you know, tap on the episode, scroll up to the show notes, and you'll see Sherry's email. It's Healthy Pearson, P-I-E-R-S-O-N, healthypearson at gmail.com in order to claim your sample if you're one of the first five to request that. So make sure you reach out to Sherry for that free sample and and a to learn more about this, this whole blend shake opportunity that she has for you to, to give it a try. So Sherry, thank you so much for your time and your generosity with our listener. We're, I'm so glad to have you here and I cannot wait for this episode to go live for everybody to hear you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure getting to know you and being able to speak to your listeners. Thank you. Absolutely. Now, everybody, you know how this goes. Stay tuned because there's another badass episode on its way right now. Thanks for listening to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast with your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Why are you waiting to go to badassdirectsalesmastery.com? Don't make the dom get her whip. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to share it with another rock star that you know in direct sales after you subscribe to the podcast so you won't miss any future episodes. You can also check out the show notes for links and any contact information mentioned in today's episode. We'll see you next time.